Hello and welcome. My name is Malik Robertson and I decided to do my game analysis on Sleeping Dogs for the PS4. This game is an open world third person shooter and it's similar to GTA but it is set in a different area. First I'm going to start with the good things about the game. Very impressive gentlemen. All of you are worthy. Unfortunately for you, my audience demands that we determine a single winner. One of the things that I liked about the game was that the majority of words in the game were English. You have the option of changing to the Chinese language in the options menu, but I didn't want to do that. Another thing about the game is the various cutscenes that happen. Using this scene as an example, the scene looks like it can be something out of an old karate movie and the actual game reinforces that because of the events that are happening. Speaking of karate, the main character has a wide variety of karate moves. Most games like this only have the character drive a car and able to shoot a gun, but this game incorporates that with the player being able to kick, punch, and break bones. The player can also chain together combos to make the enemy go down quicker and you can score more points. The game is also very bloody and graphic, which is a trait that made me enjoy the game even more. One of the other things that I really enjoyed about this game was that the player could do other things than kill people. One example is the karaoke machine in one of the clubs. This mini game works slightly like any other karaoke game where they have the bar measure the tone of your voice. The songs that are sung on the machine are actual songs that were sung by people not in the game. The songs that are sung in the game, in which my player is singing now, is sung by the voice actor of this character. The title of the song is given to you at the end of the song and the player's score is also given to you at the end as well. One of my favorite things about the game is that any time that you shoot someone with a gun, it's more entertaining than just going around and doing random stuff. The downside is to get a certain gun, you have to take it from a cop, which can result in the death of the character that you're playing as. The cops don't have a health bar, but if you notice by playing the game a lot, it will take five shots to kill them in the chest and one shot to the head to kill them. Another thing I like about the game is that if you vault over a certain object, it will make the player be able to slow time a little bit in the game. So it will give you more time to react to certain things like cops shooting at you, you can dodge cards if you time it right. And the good thing about this is, every time that you kill a person in this interval of time, the, the, the time that slows down, you'll be able to keep going, keep shooting, and the more people you kill, the longer you get to stay in this time slowing interval thing. So I've been talking about the good things that I like about the game, but now I want to talk about things that I didn't particularly like about it. One of the things about it is that the enemies that you were shooting at they would have more upgraded weapons than you and they would outgun you and then you would obviously die because they have shotguns and machine pistols and such. Another thing that I didn't like about it is that when you try to get one of theirs, like that right there, I would get either thrown to the ground or I would get arrested. I have to take the gun at a specific time for me to disarm them and to actually get the weapon that they're holding. And while I'm doing this, I can be shot by other people, but if I get the gun that I want, I can come back and then I can start killing more and more people. Another thing I didn't like about the game is that it may be just me, but the bullets that I have on certain guns run out quicker and they don't do enough damage. For instance, the shotgun. The shotgun only works up close, and if I get up close to a certain person, I'm going to get shot. And the bad part about getting close to a cop is that they can quickly overwhelm you if you are out of bullets with a shotgun. Because if you are out of bullets, you have to reload and find some place to hide quick. If you don't, then 
you are well basically you're fucked because you're you're, you're going to get shot by a lot of cops that are surrounding you and if more and more cops start coming it'll be a possibility that you will be surrounded by other cops and other upgraded enemies now I've talked about the good and the bad things about the game but I'm gonna talk about what I would change about the overall plot of the game I want there to be more things to do because all there is to do now is just to go around killing cops because after you do all the side missions and you do all the the main mission stories and there's nothing else to do so you just have to go around and like entertain yourself by doing the same thing over and over again I would want the game to have more of a variety of like different missions different after missions and I know there are because there are some downloadable content that you can download but there has to be more inside of the actual main story that I can play